Hi, I'm Joe Caparata, founder of Unique Corals, and I'm here to show you guys the new Delua GW Plus DC controllable protein skimmer. Here we have the Model 17, which is rated for 450 gallons. They are, for a very small footprint and an affordable price, a workhorse of a skimmer, and one that I've grown to be very fond of over the years. The instructions, DC controllable pump. This is a heavy duty, single cast, thick acrylic housing. And this is the bubble plate or bubble diffuser plate, collection cup, and the silicone soft blue tubing. One for the drain cup and one for the Venturi intake. So first we'll start by unwrapping the body of the skimmer. Okay. The anti-vibration rubber feet, if it's got a pump in it, it's, it's got a tendency to vibrate. Vibrations make noise. So when this is inside your sump, it's now sitting on rubber feet, which is great. So now we're gonna install the bubble diffuser plate. You'll first remove this white locking screw. And we just put that down. And then we've got the top part of the pump and just put this piece on. And just like that, it just sits on. And then this big fat flange sits on the back part. This locking nut will just go on like that. Just make it hand tight. Again, you don't need any tools or wrenches. Just make that snug, that's how it goes. And then we'll put this piece back on. Just be mindful, this solid area with no holes in it will go and cover this part. Just like that. And this screw gets screwed into place. And you just make it snug. It doesn't have to be super tight. That's it. Now the bubble diffuser plate is installed. We can pull the Venturi off it for now, and we can go and install the feet. These are anti-vibration feet, just like we saw on the base of the skimmer. Now we have them on the pump as well. That will take care of that. So now I've got all four feet on, so it's not gonna make any noise. Then we can unscrew the base. If you can't do it by finger, there's a groove in it to use a flathead screwdriver. I don't recommend using any wrenches or pliers. You can kind of just mangle it up. So you pull the screws out and then these black feet are connected to the bottom of the screws. So you move them out of the way and now the plate comes off. There is a groove here for the power cord to go through, so just keep that in mind. So now this will sit on here and you can run the cord through, very simple. And this will go back down and if you just line it up with your finger, you'll stick the Venturi right through there. So before we even put the screws on, we can take the Venturi and put it right through. Okay, and now that's on. So we've got the pump inside, we've got the bubble plate mounted on the pump, the Venturi is connected, there's rubber feet on the pump so it doesn't vibrate against this, and then we can go in and reinstall these white screws into the black feet below. So I like to just slide it right off the table and just do one foot at a time. Now we've got the black feet installed on the screws. Uh, we can go and install the top collection cup. You notice there's four tabs here. Doesn't matter where it goes. If you wanna orient your drain cup to match wherever your drain is, you can do that. And this will just lock in there. There's a gasket already built into the neck, so you don't have to worry about losing your gasket. If you wanted to, you can run this port. You could take this cap off and just stick this on, and this can go into a collection cup if you just wanna drain into a cup. Personally, I like to leave it capped. And we can now take our Venturi uh, inlet and this will connect from the air inlet here. That will go on there and it'll go right onto the Venturi side. So this just allows air to free flow right into the, into the Venturi nozzle here. This is just your standard DC cable connector. This will connect to the only part it can connect to on your controller here. So you connect that. It comes with wire control stuff, which is really cool. These 3M adhesive stickers, so you can mount your units on the wall, your power supplies on the wall. It comes with zip ties. It comes with really cool things. It's these little features that really make people smile when they go and install it. They don't have to go out and find these parts. It gives you a couple of extra feet, some zip ties, so you can make everything nice and neat. And then your controller, standard uh, transformer. You'll take this plug here, um, put it in there. This plugs into the wall. And then this side here plugs into the only other side on your controller. Once you do that, you're ready to go. Again, I'm Joe Caparata with Unique Corals, and I'm very proud to introduce the Delua Great White DC Skimmer. Thanks for watching.